Hey everybody, welcome back to... I don't know what the hell's happening here. I don't know why that guy didn't stop us. But hey, he didn't, so thank God. Thank God we were able to just... Just slip a goddamn cartridge in his head. I guess that's what you can do. I guess you can just do that. Anyway, that's what we back. do here on Eyes Running Men and Fists. Yeah. Eye. Well, fists. Mouth. Running Mouth. Man. Running Men. <laughs> running Man. Uh, it looks, I hope it looks like a man... Running with like a uh, something sharp. Yeah. I hope you left enough room for my fist, cause I'm gonna shove it in your <laughs> stomach. <laughs> I don't oh, know the full boy. Okay, know. so yeah, we're uh, we're back in Space Quest Six. Uh, we just caused Nigel to dance off into the distance for no he did. apparent reason. Yep. Um, and yeah, we found out that uh, people will just accept modies out of your hand for no good reason. Yeah, even so. though you're supposed to be a prisoner and you just walk out, waltz out of the door. That's fine. Yeah, you just, yeah. hey, hey, you know, here, take this modi. Yep. Anyway, and, let's. I mean, you know, he looked at it and he, I guess he wanted to be churlish. So there you go. But anyway. Um, let's let's move on with our lives. Uh, okay. I hope that we find something more interesting. Just as an aside, Maudie sounds like you know a, just a very ill-conceived street drug term. Like, <laughs> hey, you, oh you, you, man, you got any Maudies? Oh, hooked on Maudies. <laughs> Wait, we were already in here. Yeah, no, oh. I gotta, I gotta find more stuff. Surprisingly, okay. Where's the? Surprising. Okay, do I have to just sort through the books? Okay, there we go. Sort through those books. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at Mother this juncture. Mother. It feels slightly. Fucker. Spore beer. I don't Spore. know. Surprisingly, it's the mushroom thing sign. There seems to be mushroom. The uh, spore beer. Except a I thought movie. They've got a neon sign for spore beer. Spore yourself a tall, frosty one. Because uh, it rhymes with poor. Good one. So, uh, <laughs> so I was. I just thought because of the design, it was a spore of beer. But no, it's called a. We like to have fun on this channel, but let's get serious for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. We like to, you know, I like to do uh, Irish and Scottish accents, but that's culturally not, insensitive. Not Sporo beer. Yarky, yarky, yarky. This box is full. Wait, this box is full of daddies. 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 Are modules which, when inserted into intracranial slots, give the user complete knowledge of whatever topic is programmed into that particular daddy. Oh. Daddies and daddies. You rummage around in the uh. box for something useful, but all you find is an almost complete set of line dancing. Dancing in zero g. Right. We we looked at that last. The room yeah. seems. All right, so I'm gonna I gotta find a book. I'm looking for. Get this on the unit boat. is a portable dehumidifier. When you're a guy like Singent, who sweats like a bicranial crud snorter, you need one of these things going all the time. Is this guy with Singent? I guess it's one of those wads of lard you ran into at the inn. Uh, so we need a book. Surprising. What's that yeah, red book? Surprisingly, it's a pile. Well, surprisingly, so surprising. One of these, <laughs> surprisingly, is supposed oh. to be a an issue of popular janitronics. Really? Um, oh, That's wait not a, a It's a CD. This optical ROM. disc. It's I called. Need to, I need to. It's the CD. It's not the. No, it's not a magazine. It's a CD. Your search through the CDs reveals a bunch of typically boring multimedia magazines. Ah. A multimedia phone book. Too bad there aren't any phones around here. <laughs> the Outpost Project Survival Guide. Successful people managing techniques by Carm Trebus. Funny, it's empty. MF DOS for idiots, morons, and Phoebes. That's the answer morons and Phoebes. It does. Touring Xenon mm -hmm. on five buckazoids a day. Yeah. Discovering your inner maggot. How to become assigned to being a corporate creative genius without really trying. Hmm, this might be worth checking out. It's a copy of Popular Tektronics. There we go. There. So, yeah, you're supposed to basically, like, I guess, keep poking through this until you eventually find that. 
It's a somewhat damaged CD-ROM disc. Oh, look, it's got a little... It's got some holes cut out of it. It does. It's got some holes and some rainbows. Holes and rainbows. Just like <laughs> any good disc. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. That's, that's awful. That's Way an... too disgusting. Yeah. This optical disc-based multimedia entertainment system has a slew of powerful graphics and audio coprocessors. A unique flexible architecture is extremely high-priced and plays a half dozen really bad arcade games. Nice. It's called a 3DOA. Okay, all right, all right then. All right, well, what we need is this from data quarter to homing beacon. We have a data quarter, so a homing beacon. Fast. Fast. We... Click on there. This optical disc. Can I actually? Like... This optical disc. Can we? No. Can I... Wait. Go oh, to. Go, go, go to. to. There you go. <laughs> hey, you get to read something, Matt. Yay! Yes, you too can make a homing beacon from simple household goods. Chief among the devices you can use is the data quarter. With with a few adjustments, can send out a powerful signal to potential rescuers who could be light years away. First, open your data recorder. Inside, you'll find chips, irk settings, and plates. If you correctly alter these settings, you'll soon be home by the fire. Home by the fire with a cup of nog. <laughs> nog. Of course, any mistakes could result in a barbecue with uh, it was the entree. But let's not worry about that. We'll describe the details in the next issue. What? All right. Hmm. So yeah. You basically there is I, I think among the uh, tchotchkes that comes with the game is the popular genetronics that we're right. talking about. Yeah, so, with the actual instructions. That's right. That makes so, more sense. Yeah. All right. So let's let's take a look at this stuff that we picked up off of Nigel as he. It's Nigel's belt, complete with a damping field actuator and a nifty personal grooming assistant. Cool. Cool. Oh, Ooh. gross. That was gross. disgust. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That was a, it was a little Yuck. much. It's the hair you pulled from Nigel's personal grooming assistant. It's the damping field actuator. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Uh, this, this place is making me sad. The room's either... You get a jump on... <laughs> You but oh, you see. just does it, does it, get a bit. Next, oh, do but, need the uh, cool. well, it's nice that it. they don't let you just leave without picking it up. At least. Yeah, that is nice. Kim it, Tim it, Abbott, Abbott, Abbott. Life, no life. Life. Nope. Nope. Not into it. All right. Not into no life. So what's the plan? That's an interesting idea. Not Ugh. Hey, you destroyed the field. I destroyed the field. Good job. I Good. It. I made it unimportant. You did. Are you ever going to so... get to see the inside of your hotel room? No. No. That's done. It doesn't exist. It's unimportant. That, that time is uh, passed. Interestingly, I don't know if we come back. I thought for sure, like, it's been so long, I thought for sure that there was a reason to go into the, like, um, cyberware shop, but it's run by Fester Blatz from, you know, older Space right. Quest games. Which is too bad, because sure. we, we missed him. I mean, he's disgusting in this game, but, like, still, it would have been nice to, to see. I don't remember, I don't recall having to need to go there, but anyway... Um, That's too time bad. To, yep. Yeah, time to do a puzzle. Puzzle oh. time. Okay. So let's um. This okay. button opens and closes. All right. Oh. All right. This looks interesting. Yep. So let's just go ahead and. Oh, I see. Yep. So this is some old school electronics for a. Uh, yeah, for very dip switches and yeah, anything else you could possibly want. Okay, Roger's hand is a little tore up there. 
Yeah, you know, slammed in a door or something. You know. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we need an array A. Uh, all this stuff would be something you would find in in that sort of copy protection book, basically. Of course, of um, course. Yeah. So in array A, we want chip RF or plate RF and chip SPN. Yeah. And, and there's no IRK way to know nine. this. Okay. Uh, it's it's in the, the, the sort of popular Janatronics. Right, thing. unless you have the, the, the So the yeah, unless issue. you have the, the it's it's copy protection, right? Like Oh so, copy uh, protection. T T and D E N. Boop. And How IRK I miss seven. the Um F E R on P S Yes. You know, copy protection has been an ancient problem in computer gaming since the very beginning. <laughs> you know, you could just copy any disk and throw it to your buddy. What they didn't realize is they had also invented a little thing called photocopiers. <laughs> That's true. I mean, it's where there's a will, there is a way to uh, get around basically anything. So, All right, we should be configured correctly. Let's get the okay. power on. Yeah, I'm a homemade gear. Check it out. Yeah! Just Scanning. like that. Whoa. Check out this early fucking 3D. Hey! Here's your fish! What? Stellar, you picked up my homing signal. Uh, I can't believe I actually made it work. Now no one can say I spent a little bit too much free time in the bathroom with Popular Tektronics. Popular Tektronics, who are you trying to kid? I know what you were reading in there. What was that voice, Roger? I thought I heard something. Pay no attention, Stellar. It was probably just a mechanical flatulence from the ship. Anyway, we received a transmission from a nearby Starcon communications monitoring platform. They told us of some unusual signal originating from the area of polysorbate 60. We dialed it in, scanned the coordinates, and found you. Mm. So what are you doing in this sector, Stellar? I thought you were stationed on the SCS Heinz 57. Good joke. <laughs> I am. I had some leave accumulated and decided to take it. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing for me. I actually came to see you. I've been thinking about you a lot lately, and I was curious about what you'd been up to, so I decided to visit. And when I arrived here, I found you had just left for shore leave on polysorbate. I decided to follow you down and try and catch up with you. When I got to that dump of an inn and found you'd been kidnapped by those thugs, I searched around, but could find no trace of where they'd taken you. That certainly is a strange place. Uh, uh who the fuck is this? <laughs> I decided to beam back up to the deep ship and try to locate you through your what the fuck's going on communicator here? signal. Why do I, I care about this? I found you'd left it up here on the ship. I didn't know what to do then until that call came through from the Starcon installation. You're a lucky man, Wilco. So, uh, yeah. I I guess I am. Up B, I guess, huh? If you hadn't gotten there when you did, <laughs> I'd probably be a victim of some serious cement poisoning after those geeks chucked me off that balcony. Uh -huh. Terrace. Okay. What? Well, actually, it was a terrace. Whatever. Thanks, Stellar. I sure owe you a big one. I'd sure like to collect that sometime. But let's talk about you and me. Perhaps I could take you to dinner sometime soon. I'd like that, Stellar. I'd like that a lot. The thing is that I kind of have a kind of a relationship with another, and I wouldn't feel very comfortable about that. I mean, it, it wouldn't be fair to her. Good. You understand? Not to mention the fact I'd be wearing my sphincter for a necklace if Beatrice ever found out. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. 
I hope you do understand. Solid that. joke. Good fundamentals. I, like I, I think I even more than like you. <laughs> I, I don't know where I got this inordinate sense of loyalty toward Beatrice. I believe the word that explains that is fear. Wow. Pound sand, pal. Please know that were the situation any different, I'd be making that date with you right now. Oh, I see. Friends, co-workers, buddies. That's all this is going to be. I guess I knew it somewhere inside. I just didn't want to believe it. I guess I admire your trueness of heart, however misplaced. But I feel much more inclined to damn you for it. I know that's selfish, but it's how I feel. I must admit it shows something more about you, more depth of character than I gave you credit for, Wilco. Well, I'm, I'm patient. I'm pushing my eyes in right now. Very, heart. very hard. <laughs> you should know. Well, you all should know Roger, that that's what's happening um, right now. We should, uh, we should see what we can find out about those subhuman walking dumpsters that had such a keen interest in you. I don't suppose you heard their names. No, uh, but I did get this neat personal grooming assistant. It needs a little cleaning, but... That's great, Roger. Don't clean it, though. Take it to the sick bay. There's a DNA analyzer there. Uh -huh. You can scan the contents and perhaps use the results to get some names and information about these guys. I'm, uh... Well, you, I'm... I probably would have thought of it, eventually. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure you would have, Roger. <laughs> Look, I've got to go to sick bay. Oh get some my God, I don't care. Not so graceful <laughs> rescue. Oh yeah, that. Uh, sorry. Well, uh, I'll see you there. Sorry. That that was very immature of me. I take that back. I'm sorry. I mean, you don't have to care. No, no, no. It's fine. Look, here's <laughs> we're the thing. on a show where maturity is held. <laughs> I'm keeping <laughs> it very high, 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 high standard. Regard. Computer on screen. In case the cutscene wasn't long enough. No, Commander it's not. Kielbasa, I have a new directive for Deep Ship 86. Who the fuck is this guy? This uh -huh. is actually Admiral a special Tool, request man. from me, yeah. Commander. Yeah, Admiral Tool, As man. You know, I served with Admiral Blundfang during the Fallopian campaign. Mm -hmm. Admiral Blundfang's widow is involved in building an off-world retirement community. They are almost finished. But have requested assistance from Deep Ship 86. Anytime you can throw the word fallopian Commander, in a game, it's a good time. Please extend her mm -hmm. every courtesy. You know, if things go well, this would not look too bad in your personnel file. I will let Sharpay, the Admiral's widow, explain further. Okay. Hello, Commander King. Oh, Lassa. there's the villain. As Admiral Toolman mentioned. <laughs> We have almost completed our project here. That could use Starcon assistance. I'm wondering when the uh, honest, this is the voice of Valadis PTSD is going to kick in. Screens, <laughs> it already this has. Is an important mission, I assure you. Uh. Since you are scheduled to be present for the dedication of the Golden Light Years Retirement Center anyway. I hoped you might alter your travel plans to accommodate an earlier arrival. From the information provided me by my old friend, the Admiral, <sighs> you would be able to warp here within a few hours. I require some assistance from your ship, as well as one of your crew members. I'm going to go get some popcorn. Do you guys want anything? Allow me to explain. <laughs> I'm just going to take a little nap. <laughs> Oh my god, they actually Meanwhile, skipped some! Back in the oh, sick never bay. mind. Never mind. No, it's done. Oh. My. God! <laughs> oh my so, god! So, like, you know, they didn't really want to spend time, I guess, uh, building plot or anything like that through the actual, like, execution no. of the game. No. Um, Who wants to so, do that? We're, we're supposed to, I guess, assume that over some period of time we've developed a relationship with this uh, Stellar Santiago here. Stellar is getting treatment for her back injury. You should be ashamed of yourself for jumping on her like that, you baby. Yeah, I guess. Um, I guess so. Can, can we talk about this next episode? Because I got a lot to say. I and think we're already we're over. Great. 
Yeah. Fuck no. sake. All right. See, see you <laughs> next time, everyone. Bye, everybody. You should know. It's going to start with a rant. It's going to start with a rant. <laughs> right. I hope you're ready for it. God damn it. I'm going to have to drink for this. <laughs> Great time to have popcorn right now. <laughs> Bye, everyone.